This is Twit. Were you working on this at at Valve? Yes. So this was a peripheral I was designing for the Steam Box. This is Cast AR. Yes. This is projected augmented reality glasses, and the concept behind this this was a peripheral for the Steam Box to make it more interesting for casual game players. It was um, just to round out the entire offering. So that's what my idea was when I started developing this. Now, the reason we're in the dark is because we're going we're gonna to put these things on. Now, this is obviously kind of a prototype. In fact, you've got a little Kickstarter going. Oh, yeah. You've raised. In fact, we hit our, we hit our today, um, funding today. Today, you funded $400,000. 56 hours, I think. I, yeah, you still yeah. have 30 days to go. Yeah. So we'll go for the stretch goals. Yes. But so this is what it is. Now, people who... Contribute to the Kickstarter project. Will they get a pair of Cast AR yes. glasses? Am I saying it right? Is it Castar or Cast AR? Cast AR. Okay. So the way it works is it projects two images. They look very dim when you, you like shine it on your hands. Mm -hmm. But then when it goes out to the special retro reflective surface out here. That's a retro reflect. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it's suddenly gotten very 3D. Yeah. So we have a high precision head tracker okay. that tracks your head position. Yeah. It's triangulating itself. Haha. <laughs> We're on triangulations. <laughs> Off of this, if you cover that up with your hand, you're going to see that you're going to lose tracking. Is it doing that with RF or is it visual? This is infrared, and we, infrared, mod okay. we modulate the LEDs so that the glasses, and it's all hardware accelerated tracking, it figures out what these points are and triangulates your position. And so this is the origin. If I move oh, this. Oh, you're moving me, right. Yeah. So right now I'm looking at what looks like, uh, I'm looking top down like a game. In fact, whoa, I just blocked it, and I, lo and I lost track when you blocked the uh, yeah. tracker. We can actually have more trackers on the surface, so you have... Oh. What? Oh, I don't know. A bunch of them? On. Anyway, when I'm looking, it looks like a factory floor, kind of. There's uh, barrels there. There's... Uh, I don't know if, how much of this so, they can see. So if you lean down, you can look across the horizon. So it tracks your head position 360 so degrees. Or ah! So that's there's a I'm looking down the side there of that building. So is this virtual reality? So this is augmented reality, but this is kind of a cross of virtual reality. Our so system, when I turn my head, I'm looking in different places. Yeah. But it's projected on here. Yeah, and anywhere this material is, you. I'm gonna oh yeah, you're right. Now if you open that up, I see more there. What is this material? So this is retro reflector. It's used for safety gear. Now it's raining in there, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's raining there, but not here. Uh, because oh, you moved your head outside of the oh, now it's raining. the building. <laughs> oh, put my head back in the building and it'll stop raining. This is a very interesting. Now we've played so with the uh, Oculus Rift, which is a virtual reality uh, headset. But this, I'm seeing. I'm still. I like. I could see my hand. I could see Jason over there. I could see the world. But then projected onto this screen, I see something else. Oh, and that's me. Yeah, that's so is this for a top-down game particularly, or? It can work with first-person, um, third-person board games, um, tabletop gaming type um, experiences. And then we have some other peripherals, like we have a magic wand for it that you can reach out into this 3D space, which is, has the same accuracy as the head tracker. So you can actually reach in and touch the pixels with the wand and interact with the, uh, the, the, the synthetic world out there. So I presume stuff like this has been done before, yes or no? No, this was actually an accident. I stumbled onto this when I was <laughs> at... <laughs> what? Oh, what do you mean an accident? Yeah, well, there was... <laughs> I was I was working on a near-to-eye display, kind of like the Oculus, where you're putting light directly into your eye. Right. And I made this rig, and I put it on the optical bench, and I put a beam splitter in backwards. Instead of projecting into my eye, it was projecting out into the room. And we had a piece of this material that was in the room and it was used for a sensor array that we were working on. But I saw this beautiful image, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. That solves a lot of the problems with, like, near-to-eye displays. Because you're looking at a distance that's, like, a true distance for your eyes to look at. So It's, it's more comfortable, frankly. I don't feel so uh, claustrophobic. Yeah. And your eyes are always focused at the right depth. Right. And I'm not looking. Yes, that's right. Okay. And your eyes converge at the right distance, so... So it feels like I'm looking at something that's, like, right about here. Yeah. Like where the screen is. Exactly. But it can also look like it extends way in there. If you kneel down and look way across the horizon, you can see way out into the distance. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> wow. So I, it's hard to describe uh, this experience to somebody who hasn't used this yeah. before. I, that's it's, actually been a big challenge for us. Because people need to try it. Yeah, if you try to record through the glasses, it just doesn't really, right. it's, it looks flat because it's a 2D, you know, medium. But right. 
but this is really things are popping up. Like there's some. If I get close to you, I can see that there's some girders and stuff going across. Yes, Those in look fact, like they're right about. They get in here. right in my way. Yeah, yeah. They're like they're right there. Like if that's right there. This is there. Yeah. Wow. 